All right, so let's cruise over to the zone. Um, I have the grips that are for... You went fast. I'm not a happy camper today. Not at all. You know why? See that stuff on the ground? That's freaking why. So lately I've been doing this little thing where like every morning I'll go and I'll grab this tea that I actually got as a mistake um, and they actually screwed my order up, but I liked it more than my order, so here we go. Oh, driving and vlogging is scary. This is not safe. Oh, I thought he was coming in my lane. It's a lot to think about. Camera, big camera, shift. All right, let's see how packed it is today. Hey, it's not so bad. There's nobody in the back. That's a plus. Come on, dude. Really? You're, you're parked like in the... What an idiot. Oh, shoot. Windshield wipers. Hi, good morning. Can I get breakfast started for you today? Uh, no, thank you. Can I please have a venti black tea lemonade? Very okay. Yeah, and then can I get light ice with that as well, please? Yeah, three ninety-five. Thanks. Let's go. I know it's all in my head, but I feel like every time I come in, I get it like just something to drink, anything, whether it's this or just a really big water or something like that. I just feel better. I feel more alert and I feel more excited and inclined to do things that I really should be doing regardless. Yo, has anybody else realized this? So I just pulled out some change to pay for this drink, right? And I'm like, what the heck is on this quarter? And I realized that it's upside down, and when you turn it over, it's creepy. It's like a bat, right? With, and it's hanging upside down, but it's, a, it's really scary and weird, and it's, of course, the 2020 year quarter. Why is it that the year that had so many terrible things happen, so many terrible things, why does that have the creepiest quarter? Well, a coincidence, I guess. What's up, man? What up, bro? How's the day going? Going good, man. It's flying by. It's good, man. I also have a new friend who's the guy that works at Starbucks because he's now recognized me and I've only been there, well, it's been four days in a row now, but hey, I'm, I'm happy. All right, so let's cruise over to the zone. Um, I have the grips that are for... He went fast. I've got the grips that are um, specifically for today's video, so let's get over there and get some riding done. So the grips that I'm currently running are the NV TPR grips. I've been riding these for a little while. Um, I kind of transition between these and Vital grips all the time. So kind of what I'm going to be doing is comparing these grips, which are the, it just says SC Grips Purple. That says nothing about them being green. <laughs> and I'm going to put these on this scooter and somewhat compare them. Previous thoughts and ideas as to what I think uh, these are going to kind of ride like. I think this is going to be pretty stiff. Like, I don't think this is going to be really soft at all. And that being said, of course, not every single grip that you buy is super soft right when you get them. Um, you kind of have to break some of them in. But I think those are going to be a lot worse to start. I feel like it's going to be like almost grabbing onto uh, like the sole of a shoe kind of feel, but in, in a circle. So we're going to see how that works. And I just realized that there's a bunch of wood right here. Dang it. So I'm gonna get this ramp cleaned off a little bit and then uh, just kind of warm up on my normal scoo and uh, see how this goes. All right, so I've got my scoo on the half pipe. On any normal day, I would probably be riding with gloves on right now, but um, since we're testing out these grips, I wanna be able to actually feel them and see uh, kind of what I think about their actual formula, how hard they are, things like that. But if I have gloves on, I can't really feel the grips at all. Every grip just feels the same. So we're gonna get warmed up. So let's get a little, uh, we'll just cruise in really quick. We'll get just a wet feeble grind and just a little nose blunt. That was not a nose blunt. Let's try that again. That was better. These little like, these little strings are flying everywhere and hit me in the freaking face. If you guys are riding with a hoodie and those things keep hitting you in the mouth or in the eyes or anything like that, just tie it exactly like you would a shoelace 
and you're in the game. All right, let's put a little line together really quick, shall we? We'll do double whip, Smith, bar, um, 180 bry. We'll do like a sugar cane, 180 triple, and call, it the, call that good. <laughs> All right, so double tail whip to feeble, to Smith, bar in, and I forgot. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Nice. All right, Raymond. Double tail whip, feeble, Smith, bar, bry, sugar, triple. Jeez. Now sugar, and we got a triple tail up 180. There we go. Was that so hard? Jeez. Just can't remember your freaking tricks. <laughs> All right, it's already getting hot. I'm taking this off. All right, let's do a bunch of grinds really quick. So we'll do feeble, and then fakey feeble, back lip, front lip, and then scooter fakie, and then like whip fakie. I don't know. We'll do something. All right, starting off with a feeble grind going this way. Now I gotta reverse that and do a fakie feeble. Now, what's it? Oh, back lip on this side. Whoa, it's sticky. I almost died. Front lip. Now I gotta do a scooter fakie grind on this side. Now, whip fakie feeble something. Oh, I almost died again. I was trying to do a whip fakie feeble and then like revert or pivot to Smith and then something in. We'll try it again. Tail whip to fakie feeble, something, something. There we go. All right, let's do a couple more, like just little tiny ones, just cause I'm getting kind of warm here. We'll just do a, let's do like stall fakie and then see if we can like roll up fakie and get the top. This is one I don't usually do that often, so hopefully we can get it first try. Nope, screwed up on the fakie. Oh, dang it, I thought I had it. Try again. There we go. And the quick 50, and we'll three whip out. Legs are feeling decent right now. It's not cold or anything like that. Of course, as soon as I come inside and start riding, the, sh the sun comes out. So uh, let's throw those other grips on really quick and see how they look slash feel. All right, so we have our grips right here. Let's open these things up really quick and just see what they feel like. Oh, dude. They're kind of thick, like they're deaf. And I'm normally like, just, just the, the flexiness of them and, and I don't know, it's just, they're, they're pretty hard. These are super cheap. I think I bought these for like nine or $10 on Amazon. I didn't really expect them to be like a grip that was super, super high quality. Um, but I don't know, like I don't think these are gonna feel good. And any grip in reality, like if you ride it for a long, long, long time, it has the potential to really break in. But uh, these are feeling pretty cheap right now though. And I'm looking at like certain parts of the grip, right? And it, you have like these ribs. And in reality, that's with every single grip that you'll ever see on the scooter market. Well, not every single grip, but most grips have like some sort of rib design, right? And if these ribs aren't tall enough, you're gonna have a problem and you're not gonna um, have that soft feel whatsoever. It doesn't matter how soft you make this urethane or it's not this urethane, this uh, rubber essentially is the, I guess the correct term. It's not gonna be the right feel because these just simply aren't tall enough and the sweat that actually comes from your hands isn't gonna have anywhere to go. So this grip is just gonna get super, super slippery on a hot day or even like a mildly warm day. Even if you sweat during the cold, um, these these grips are gonna be super, super sl slippery. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. So we'll see how these uh, these feel in about 20 minutes. All right, so uh, let's take my grips off and throw these on. All right, grips are on and they're moving right now, but that's not their fault, that's mine. <laughs> Originally, I wasn't gonna put the bar ends in, but um, oh, I'm definitely not, because they won't fit. <laughs> All right, let's put my bar ends back on right now. There's one and two. All right, yep, they feel pretty bad. Oh my gosh, they're huge. I don't know, like, maybe it's just me, but these grips kind of feel like, um, I mean, obviously they're shorter, right? That, that, that's, a, that's a given, like, compared to these grips, which, um, let me add in here, these are used, of course, so they are gonna be a little bit longer than um, right when they come out of the box, but they are definitely way longer than these grips are. And these, these again, used, right? But 
even when these are brand new, they have kind of a uh, much less of a of a, a snappiness than these do. I guess is the right term because they're just really hard. Is what I'm getting at here. They're super hard. Uh, but let's actually go test them out on the ramp and see if maybe they feel better when you ride, which is definitely not going to be the case. <laughs> I thought it was Spike the dog. Look who it is, bro. Look who it is. Adrian, say, say hello to everybody. They haven't hello. seen you in a while. With the big donut for Raymond to share with Mackenzie. What is this? A donut. It's like a rectangle donut. A rectangle donut? Let's see this real quick, boy. Thanks, son. Look at him go, ladies and gents. Thanks, dude. Appreciate oh. it. Bruh, you gotta check out these grips real quick. Okay. These are super, super cheap. The super cheap grips from Amazon. Feel those really quick. Tell me what you think. These? Yeah. Oh. And are they lastable? Lastable? Mm-hmm. Like, you know how they just wear out and they get sticky? Last? And you call that lastable? Because mine, they last a year. A I year? These, I don't know about these ones. How Are you? Are your grips in good condition right now? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, you can have these, but I, I don't think they're going to be that good because they're pretty hard. If they don't worn out. Well, they're worn out right now. Get this chair out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that chair thing. You know who Dame Smith is? Oh, man, here you know we go. We got more stories coming from Adrian. You know his catchphrase? Instead of just get out of the way, you should do this. Get that out of here. That's his catchphrase. Noted, Adrian. I'm going to go ride these down to see how they feel, okay? Sound good? Mm -hmm. Deal. All right, first impressions. Uh, main thing is, like I said, the grips are massive. Like, they're huge. So, I don't know how that's gonna feel after I get, start doing a couple bar spins in there. But it's gonna be weird, I know. So let's just try a single. Ooh, they're still moving a little bit. Not a lot, it's, it's not like substantial or anything, but it's definitely like, like I can feel them going around. Maybe they'll settle in a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. So we gotta do tricks that are like very bar, bar spin-ish to bar spin-esque, bar spin-ish, bar spin-ny, I don't know. One of those words, just to see like how these are feeling when it comes to actually using those grips feel them real quick they're rough dude what are these they're hard as a rock what are those super hard huh yeah <laughs> yeah you gonna need my suspension on those grips. straight up Let me tell you. straight up let's do another uh let's do another bar really quick i want to i want to feel that out really fast maybe we'll do a 360 bar out of here Oof. yeah like they're really hard they're not spinning anymore though that's kind of weird it was like literally two seconds ago all right, let's do a uh, bar feeble and slide it a little bit and then like maybe bar lip coming back. And the bar lip. Ooh. 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 Did you see that? It got caught in my pants and I still landed it. That was scary. Oh man, it's, it's like they're hurting my hands right now. Like I feel like if I, if I rode these for like a long time, I'd get carpenter hands within a week. How about like a quick Manny line on this thing? Let's just do like, we'll try to hit the Manny around and then stall this and then try to fakey back around. We'll see how that goes. All right, so we'll just feeble this side. Gotta go super wide at it. Oh, dang it. My front wheel went down. Not trying to cheat. Oh man, these grips are so fat. Dang it. All right, come on, right? Fakey all the way, maybe. Half cab, let's go. Oh man, I'm telling you like, I can feel it. These things are so rough. I don't think I like how big they are either. Like, and it's not, it's not like a massive difference again. It's nothing crazy, but it's enough to make a pretty big difference. Rip. <laughs> I tried to be. Rip, dude, what did you do? I was trying to vert at McVicker. There's no vert in McVicker, there's a bowl. Yeah, the, the, the deep end. Nice try, bro. And what did and you did? In this case, and then straight mm -hmm. to my shoulder. Rip, you got your AC? No, just, just collarbone? Collarbone in half. See, you were almost like me with the longer arm. No. Oh, you you still have one good hand. Come here, fill these really quick. Tell me what you think. Honest, honest though. Cause I wanna see if you think the same thing I think. Ugh. Thank it's, you. They feel like plastic. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They're terrible, huh? Yeah, but it's just it's a cheap. Kinda, it, yeah. It's just a cheap Amazon grip. Pretty I, bad. I, I mean, I, I guess. No, dude, they're bad. Grip, yeah. No, they're bad. I feel like if I keep riding with those, like my hands would be like. Oh. There's honest, no grip. Honestly, feel. Amazon. Uh, 
<laughs> I mean, I kind of like them. I kind of grew up. Well, you can have them. Really? Yeah, let me do some tricks first. Sick. <laughs> Jesse wants the Amazon grips. I don't know why. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, the fakey thing for you, Jesse. If I land at first go, you can have them. Okay. Dude, these grips are so bad. Like, there's not many grips out there that you could say they're not grippy. These are not grippy. Flare to disaster? Yuck. Why? Uh, wait, you want me to look like him? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You see that? You see that? Was a, no, 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 that, no, no, no. that was double wheel ride. You saw that? I started playing like this. I said, huh. bro, I couldn't do that again if I tried. I'm just gonna flare and call it good. All right, sounds good. Yeah, yeah let's go. Okay, Brando. Okay. Whoa. I didn't land that one. I got grips for you now. <laughs> yeah, unless you're Jesse and you want to ride these grips for whatever reason. I mean, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. And as long as we remember, you're gonna have to let me know how they are in two weeks. But when they are new, these are not comfortable. They're hurting my hands to a point where like, they're not aching or anything, but you can feel like, like calluses are not happy right now because these are not soft. So if you're on a budget, you don't wanna spend the extra five or six bucks that it is to get like some Envy grips or something like that or Vital grips. These are actually, um, they're an option. So they're on Amazon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel, Snapchat, all that good stuff. All the links will be in the description below. Until next time, I'm out of here. Later.